UV filters, get rid of 99.99% of microorganisms in a feed water supply. And Groonix UVs are stainless steel. So we're going to pull it out of the box. Uh, it comes with fittings and it comes with a couple of clips to attach the UV. Inside the box you're going to find the ballast for the UV. And there's also a bulb tucked away in the corner of the box. Let's pull this out of here. Now that I've unpacked everything, the first thing I'm going to do is install these mounting clips on the little bus. I'm just going to back off these quarter twenty stainless bolts. I'm going to put the bolts into the mounting clip, make sure I don't over torque them. Uh, they don't need much. And put the second one up there, just like that. The next thing I'm going to do is install the fittings in the UV. We give you half by three eighths male connectors. I'm only going to finger tighten them in for this demo. The, t the fittings are already taped uh, from the factory here. We give you the Teflon tape, so you don't have to worry about it. All you got to do is uh, wind them in. I'm going to leave them on there loosely. And then you can install the UV on the system, just like that. Real simple. Uh, you're allowed, you're more than welcome to plumb. So the output of a little boss is 3 8 tubing. And so you're more than welcome to just plumb 3 8 tubing into the top like that. We also give you some stem elbows. And you're uh, welcome to plumb it like that as well. I'm just going to cut this here. Like that. And then the output uh, now will be over here. And this will go to your tank or reservoir uh, or uh, whatever storage solution you're using. Or if you're going to, uh, to your watering one, if you're going to water plants with this. Uh, alternatively, you could plumb the input. You don't have to plumb it to this side. Uh, you're more than welcome to plumb. The UV is bi-directional, so it doesn't matter what side the water goes in and what side the water comes out. You could plumb it into this side and then take the water out of this side. Either way, it doesn't matter. So to install a bulb in a UV, it's very simple. All we're going to do is slide the bulb in the end of the UV that has a hole in it. One end cap is sealed. One has a hole. So first thing I want to do is make sure they're, they're tight. Don't over tighten these. Underneath is a glass sleeve and seals on a rubber o-ring. If you over tighten it, you could crack the glass. Just tighten down the end cap till you feel the contact the o-ring. Give it a little turn. Not too tight. Gently unpack your light bulb. It's a box in a box, and we're going to pull the bulb out. Now you don't want to touch these bulbs uh, the way it is with high intensity bulbs. If you touch them, the oil on your hands can shorten the life, so I'm going to use a rag. One end of the bulb has uh, contact points on it. The side of the bulb which has the contacts for the electrodes which receives the voltage is the side that goes in last. Notice I am not touching the bulb's glass. Do not touch the bulb's glass. It will shorten its life. Now you're going to attach the four prong plug to the bulb. It only goes in on one way. It only fits one way. And you're going to slide it in until, it's, until it stops. That's the end of the housing. And then simply slide the plastic boot over the end cap, like so. Then you can push the bulb in a little farther. And that's it. This will be my output, and that will go to a storage tank. Now the last step is to simply plug it in. Now 
I did this to show you there's a light on the ballast. When that light is on, that means the lamp is working. That means the bulb in here is working. If this light goes out, it means the bulb burned out. So you want to make sure you check that this is on occasionally so that your UV is working and killing bacteria. Now, the replacement on these UV lamps is one year. That's for the bulb. So every year, take the bulb out and put a new one in. It's that simple. You're going to want to keep your UV on 24-7. If you shut it off, then bacteria that could be in the water supply this far can then move past to the output to the tank. If you keep the UV on 24-7, bacteria in the feed water supply uh, will never make it through here. So it's important to keep these on 24-7, um, especially if you're treating bacteria, uh, and just replace the bulb once a year. Just a little note, remember, uh, never fire up a UV bulb unless it's fully seated inside this housing. That's because you should never look into a UV lamp. It's harmful to the eyes. So uh, never fire up a bulb outside of the housing. Now, when mounting the UV to a Little Boss Deluxe, you have a myriad of quarter inch, quarter 20 holes on the top. I like the two in front. Just one in from the center, and you could put the clips right there, and the UV can mount on top just like that. It'll look the same as uh, mounting on Little Boss. Just put the clips on top, and the quarter 20 is right there.